elders and members of the nation. Mr. Darren Thompson, Camp Chief, Pacific Scout Jamboree 2015, and distinguished platform guests and distinguished party guests in the audience. You've been named, I, I'll skip that part. Welcome. I acknowledge with respect and I re acknowledge with respect the customs and traditions of the First Nations on whose lands we are gathered. And thank you to Chief Gordon Plains and the whole party for that welcoming prayer and blessing today. A great way to start off the camp. Thank you. I understand that gathered here today, we've just heard that there's representatives at the 12th Pacific Jamboree from six different countries, seven provinces and territories of Canada. And did we miss anybody? Is that? New Zealand. Well, my goodness, welcome to New Zealand. Oh, man. Welcome all. It's a, we're even going to have some blue sky. It's what a, a wonderful, wonderful way, place to be on a beautiful day like this. And what a rich diversity of cultures and experiences you have assembled and will share over the next 10 days. Golden opportunities. That is what lies ahead of all of you. You young people that are gathered here at Camp Bernard. A beautiful otter point on this scenic island in Canada's most westernly province. A smorgasbord of opportunities, including paddling, dragon boat racing, rock climbing, scuba diving, hiking, and more, so much more. And you'll make new friends. Friends with whom you will create shared memories to last a lifetime. Even 45 years, pretty good memory, 45 years. But truly, you will make friends here that will last your lifetime. I, how I envy you all. You'll face challenges, overcome obstacles, take calculated risks. You'll test yourselves, discover strengths and weaknesses. You'll have a better understanding of yourself and go on to choose a rewarding and healthy, fulfilling lifestyle based on the values adopted through the scout law, where a scout is helpful and trustworthy, kind and cheerful, considerate and clean, and wise in use of all resources. You bet. Wise use of resources. That too will be part of your experience at Camp Bernard. Learning more about the natural environment and all the resources of this part of Canada and how to make wise choices in order to halt some of today's excesses. 2015 has to be been declared the year of soil. I, I bet I could have got the right answer from you, right, John Horgan? Not many people have been able to answer that 2015 was declared by the United Nations as the year of soils. So many of us today take the land beneath our feet for granted with little regard for all the services provided to mankind by soil. Not only do we produce 95% of our food from the soil, we also use products grown or made of soils to build shelters. Soils filter our water, clean our air, and are a vital part of our energy cycle. We can store a great deal of CO2 in the soil. And did you know that there are more living organisms in one spoonful of soil than all the people on earth. More than uh, more living organisms in one spoonful of soil than all the people on earth. Go online, you can Google soil on the United Nations website or Carbon Farbers of America and learn fascinating information about soils. So I'm a rancher, as you heard, and I've used cattle as a tool to harvest sunshine, the most renewable resource on earth, uh, by growing wonderful grass in our very dry soils in the interior of this province. So please join me in my mission to educate about the wonders of soil. It isn't just dirt. It's the foundation of all civil society. 
those planes that flew by this morning? Just yesterday, I was afforded the opportunity to be flying up there in that lead red airplane, in that yak, that Chinese yak. When I was offered, I jumped at the chance, and when offered the opportunity to take hold of the stick, I cautiously took control. We later looped, we rolled, went up and over backwards. It was an opportunity, an entirely fantastic experience. And now today, I have the opportunity to meet all of you, you enthusiastic young couple, young people, young scouts. Maybe there's some couples too. <laughs> but young people who are going to be the leaders, our future leaders, in all of the countries that you represent. We are so fortunate. And I wonder what tomorrow will bring my way. What opportunities, golden opportunities. And whenever you get them, seize the moment, seize those opportunities. So thank you for this opportunity. Thank you all those, uh, to the organizers for the opportunity to be on hand for this opening ceremony of your 12th Pacific Jamboree. And thank you to all the dedicated scout leaders and volunteers who have worked so hard to make this adventure possible, as well as your parents and families, with whom, uh, without whom I'm sure some of you would have had trouble making it here. Earlier this week, I was privileged, and I hear there's some folks from the Yukon uh, last Sunday, a week ago today, I was on my way flying to Whitehorse. We met with the Chief Scout of, Ca Scout of Canada, His Excellency Governor Gen General David Johnson, the finest example of leadership in this nation. He indeed inspires all of us to be the best that we can be and to achieve our fullest personal strength and our leadership skills. He's called on all Canadians to build a smart and caring Canada as we lead up to 2017, our 150th birthday. I would urge all of you young people to continue as you do to fo follow your scouting promise. As a representative in British Columbia of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the most wonderful example of service to her people, I wish you all a great 10 days camping Learn all you can, enjoy all the golden opportunities, make some new friends. Bonne aventure à tout le monde. <laughs>